Hello and welcome to Revit for BIN Training Seminars, this is Session 2, Mass and Family Modelling, uh, Part 2, Updating the Mass. OK, so this is where we left off from the previous video. We'd created a model using a mass as a template. So I turned off the mass for visual reasons, so let's turn that back on, clicking on the Reveal Hidden Elements. You can see the mass highlighted in pink inside there if I select it by tabbing through I can right click and say unhide in elements unhide elements in view sorry and then turn that off again so it comes back now what we're going to do is assume that this is an early design iteration and now we're going to make some changes to the design and you can see how those changes can update and so you can work through the design process this way so I'm going to jump back to my mass model and make some changes we can do some rather simple things pull the height down a little bit you see editing is quite simple I've so far been, been working in three dimensions. Uh, if I look on my north, south, east, west, here I can see that if I look at the building from the south, I will get to that elevation. So if I go to the south elevation, I see my building there. Now, if I select that top face there, I can actually now rotate it around the y-axis so you can see you can make changes like that jump back to 3d and you can see that that is now sloped so making those changes some things are easier in three dimensions some things you have to do in two dimensions that's one of the two dimensional things you need to change okay so I'm just going to hit load into project and the point important bit here is to overwrite the existing version so make that change, jump into 3D and you can see that the mass is now smaller and lower down than the model so you might think you have to redo all of the work that's not actually the case if I select one of these walls update to face allows me to make that design change I'm going to get some error messages here but I'm just going to say unjoin the elements quick way to do this now is by right clicking and saying select all instances visible in view to get all of my walls all at the same time and then select that so all my walls are now down to the size and repeat the same select all instances in view with the curtain wall and the roof so you see it's a relatively quick change to be able to flip through design iterations. Okay, so thank you.